Stan Jabalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV Whiskey One Good Vibrations. I'm going to uh, t show you the transmitter that I talked about at the ham radio station for the University of Minnesota, W0 Yankee Charlie, in the basement of Pioneer Hall during the 1970s when I attended that venerable institution. This is the Johnson Viking Valiant transmitter. I forget what I called it. I think I called it a Challenger or something like that. I believe Johnson also made a Challenger, but this is the transmitter right here. The Valiant that I um, that I never used and one of the reasons uh, I never used it was that the first time that I touched it I got a shock. Obviously that was not characteristic of this radio, but uh, there somebody had uh, messed around with it apparently or something had gone wrong with it. Sort of typical at that station, uh, but uh, we nevertheless made contacts and never got any official observer reports or FCC citations. Back in those days, the FCC would issue you a citation they wouldn't uh, issue a notice of apparent liability and try to take away everything that you had. Uh, so they were a little bit more benevolent back then and maybe a little less capricious in my humble opinion. But we never had any of those problems there while I was operating it, at least. I never heard of it ever happening there. But I never, I never did use this transmitter. It was a uh, a pretty good transmitter, so they say. This this is uh, Woody's home page again, and uh, the W0UI. I am going to provide a link uh, to this video, or to this uh, particular web page in the description of this video. Uh, let's see, you can get a PDF schematic of the radio. Let's open it up and see what happens. Here we go. Can't open this file. Problem with the file format. Well, here it is anyway. Viking Navigator, Viking Adventurer, Viking Valiant. And there is your schematic diagram. 275 watts CW and SSB. 200 watts phone that meant AM you know back in those days a lot of people still used AM band switching 160 through 10 meters you can go there and read all about this radio uh, it was apparently a pretty good radio but I uh, and then they just they got some pretty powerful radios 500 uh, watts for just the radio. That was a, that was quite a bit. A courier, 500 watts CW. Uh, so that was uh, that was that. Back to Woody's page there, uh, and uh, then uh, they have a schematic. You can there's some more images under the chassis. See those discrete components? You don't see those anymore. A lot of room inside this radio as there were in other radios. You can go to these uh, pages if you like. 5 April 2013. That's not that old. So Woody's been working recently. Uh, I, I eventually should contact this guy. Anyway, but for now all I'll do is sign off and let you nostalgize with me about old-time radios. Hopefully, if you had a Valiant, you never got a shock off of yours. Stan Jebelisco, W1GV, saying 73, which means best regards in ham radio jargon. And so long, which translates to... Did da 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 da